All right, folks. I am the Conflict Nerd. Welcome back to Sim City 4. So last time, Infinity. Oh, Infinity. It went so badly. You saw me at the end of the last episode realize that the city's budget was very, very, very quickly going downhill, and it did so. The city is now about $40,000 in debt. It's making about a hundred bucks per month and I can't be bothered trying. I tried so hard, I built so much industry to try and get the money back in the green and it didn't work. So I'm gonna have a little bit of a play around with that off camera, but I've been doing that for a little bit already. So at the minute, I think what I'm gonna do is build a city here today. And the reason for that being that we can link the capital with Crapland, Jersey Shore, and the new city of cookie-like products. And right here, right here we're gonna have, I don't know what this is gonna be called, I mean it's got a coastline, hmm, what'll we call it? What will we call it? Um, hmm, no oh, this is a, this is a tough one. I think we'll call it Mountain Dew Land. There we go, Mountain Dew Land. We're gonna put this down to easy because medium sort of didn't work. And the reason we're calling this Mountain Dew Land, by the way, is because I have a bottle of Mountain Dew sitting beside me, so deal with it. All right, let's establish the city. There we go. Right. So, this place is kind of small. That could be a good thing, though. So let's get things started off. What will we begin with? I think we'll start with some... Oh, wait, we've got this road, don't we? We'll start with some agriculture, methinks. So we'll just put that up here. Get a get a couple of farms going. Let's just we'll put a, a main road just here, and this will be kind of the backbone of the entire city. It should be an avenue, but it's going to be a main road. Simple as that. And we'll have this go like this, we'll have some back streets like this, get lost, we'll have this come out here, and this road come down to meet it. Right, wonderful. And then we're just going to go in and divide this up randomly, what was that, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Welcome back to counting with the conflict nerd, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's not going to be even, that's... Fine, we'll just put in some agricultural zoning right there. Lovely. That should do a nice job. For the meantime. We'll take this road out to meet up with... Oh wait, that's Crapland. Are there any connections from Crapland? No. Okay, we're going to need to sort that out in a little bit. But for the meantime, we'll leave it the way it is. So I think we should probably go about putting in our housing. We'll start with some low density stuff because, you know, people aren't really going to be moving into massive houses straight away, are they? Let's we'll put it on the main road. Let these people live right there on the main road. And we'll put some low density commercial just beside them. Just because we can. Alright, that should work. So they've got their jobs up here. They've got jobs here. They've got their houses. We will put in a wind power plant just at the end of the street. And we'll put one in just up here. And let's see what happens. Let's speed things up a little bit, see if we can get people to move in. Okay, there we go. Some some shops already, some houses, the farms are there. But the farms are being built anyway. Come on, let's see our first citizens. There we go. And we are officially in business and making money. Not very much. Not very much, mind you, but money nonetheless. Let's put in a few more commercial buildings. Just there. Oh, wow. That was quick. That was, that was exceedingly quick, actually. Okay, let's see about extending things now. One, two, three, four. We'll bring this down to here. Then one, two, three, four. And bring this down to here. 
Right, let's put in some more housing. And then I think we'll put some office buildings on either side now. Just to see if it works. And it did. Wow. Okay. That went better than I thought it would. They still, they want their industry. They want a lot of industry, but they're not getting it. I'm going to take this a bit slower. I'm going to try and make this a rather pleasant place to live. So this needs to go slowly. We need to make sure we're constantly building up on money. We're not going to get anything until we can afford it. So we have our commercial developments there. Let's take a road up here now. And up here... Do they really need to cross over? I guess they could. We'll make a little a little junction there. And we'll put in some more high-density stuff there. We'll put some lower-density stuff here and here. Then we'll go in and put some low density residential on either sides of this road, and then behind, we'll just keep we'll, we'll stick with low density. This this main road's gonna just have houses on it and stuff like that. So this is looking good. This is definitely looking good. It's going well. We don't really need anything else. I think what I will do is put in just the basics of a public transport system. So a bus stop. A bus stop. We'll have another bus stop up here. We'll have another one there. And one there. And one up there. Then we will put a bus stop there and a bus stop there. Right, so we have the basics of what we need. We're making money. Like I said, not a huge amount, but it's money. Okay, I don't really want to extend out too far yet, so I think I'll lay out some basic roads. So we'll put one down to there, we'll put that along here, and some, we'll put some high density residential here. Hopefully these will turn into nice apartments and not look awful, but we'll just have to wait and see. And... We'll put some low-density commercial just in front of them. So it's got little shops in front of their high-rise apartments. They do need some power going out there, though. Uh, I'll put some shops in this corner. Okay. I will make this whole little corner just a bunch of shops. That has no road connection. Did I put that in the wrong place? Yes, I did. Put it there. There we go. Right, they probably won't fill up too quickly, but housing, on the other hand, might. So we'll put some low-density housing here, and we'll put some more here. And then we will put some... We'll put some offices right next to these. That shouldn't be too much bother. And we'll see how this turns out. Again, taking things slowly, we're still not spending over 200 bucks. And we're nearly making a thousand. So this is going well. And we still haven't got any dirty industry. Apart, well, obviously agricultural is not the cleanest, but it's not absolutely filthy. Unless you consider the farmers, who probably don't wash. But that's, that's redundant. You know, that's a stereotype. And if you think that, well, then you agree with me. Anyway. Let's, let's take a road back this way now. We'll loop this round. In fact, you know what? We'll do this kind of thing. We'll have ourselves not necessarily a housing estate, but some some apartments behind these uh, 
That'll work. That'll work. Are we making... We're making over a thousand bucks, and we're just about to spend 200. So this is going rather well. Let's just have a little look at fire hazards. Not too bad. Not too bad. Crime is barely a problem. For some reason, there's, there's a lot of crime going on in the middle of that field, and I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but maybe the wheat is just going a little bit crazy. I don't know. Desirability everywhere. Fantastic. Water, not worried about it. We don't need it desperately. Power is fine. Traffic is wonderful because we're using main roads all of the time. Land value, yeah, that's bad. That's not good. Mayor rating, fine. They're all rather young. Low health care, of course. Air pollution, water pollution, yeah, not too worried. All right. So far, so good. They want more industry, so let's see if we can help a little bit there. Let's put in some more farmland. Let's bring this out around the bus stop. Alright, so let's add in more farming land. There we go. Lovely. I am more than happy with that. Do they still they still want a lot of they still want a lot more of it. Ugh, I don't know about providing more industry. Maybe if I up the taxes. No. I can't up taxes. I realize that the way to get high-tech industry is to teach your sims. So maybe... How many people do we have? We have just under 1,200. So we'll go for a school. How many can that hold? 500. Okay, ignore the transition there. I was handed a cheeseburger and I couldn't resist. Just saying. Just saying. So you might have noticed that I added a high school. It worked quite well. People... A few more people moved in, some buildings, they developed a little more, and whilst we're nearly spending a thousand bucks, we're earning quite a bit more than we were previously. So all in all, it's pretty good. It's going pretty well. If I'm perfectly honest, I think, I think this will be a good city. The one last, the one thing I want to do is bring this avenue right across. Now we've got no real reason to do this, but I'm going to put it there just so it's easier to access in the future because I'm not quite sure where I'm going to connect it up to but we'll have to wait and see, we'll figure that out but yeah, that's, that's something for the future methinks that is uh, most definitely something for the future yeah.